What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In this week's tip of the week, we're going to be taking a look at the best run play in Madden NFL 25, and the play comes, and we're in the pistol playbook. Uh, this can be found out of several playbooks, and it's actually out of several formations, uh, but the play is called the inside zone split. Uh, here you see we like to have it out of pistol strong, but if you're a team, uh, if you're not the Niners, you may have a team with you know, good personnel for three wide receivers, it has it out of the pistol strong slot as well. Uh, in my opinion, there is no better run in the game than this. Um, this run can also be found in Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook out of the split slot. It's as good in there as it is in here. It's the concept of the inside zone run, and uh, it's just one of the best runs that I've... It, it's probably the most dominant run I've ever seen in this game. So here we're just going to come out and show you the start of the run. You just want to cut it back across the grain here, and it's almost like an automatic 7-8 yards. You're going to get a one-on-one -on -one with the safety almost every time here. You see this is the 4-3 over plus, one of the better, uh, pop, more popular defenses in Madden 25, and you see it's just very difficult to stop this run in the backfield. Here we're going to um, set up a basic look out of maybe 4-3 over plus where they would spread their line and spread their linebackers to set up pressure, and we're just going to hot blitz both linebackers here. This usually will get a guy free off of the left and right edge. And you see this run still towards it. See here, now we can go inside, but it's always going to give us that one-on-one. -on -one. It's up to you to read the defenders, how they play, the, how they are reacting to the ball. But typically, you'll be able to cut it back like this and just get to that one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Now, we're going to show you one of the more, um, what people like to do when they see this run is they'll eventually start run committing. Uh, but you see, this run is really, it's still, it's actually better if they run commit because you can get to the edge faster. They don't, it doesn't blow this run up. This run is, uh, you can't run commit. You have to do a lot of, uh, you have to make a lot of an important adjustments for it to, to be stopped. If you have a fast running back, Frank Gore's, Frank Gore is a really good one, uh, but I think Michael James may be better for this run just because he can hit the hole a little quicker. But you see, when you get that one-on-one -on -one with the safety, it's up to you as a running back to be able to break that tackle. But this just it just doesn't get blown up. Here I'm going to show you. I haven't checked out. Recommend to the left here maybe. And you see it's still open. Like It's just so good. It's like almost automatic five yards. Uh, here we're going to pinch our line, shift our linebackers to the left. Maybe this will do something. And it's just so many things that you can try to do to stop this run. But the reality is you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one with the safety. And it's going to take a really good defense to stop this run. So, um, you know, this run is also, like I said, it's out of many formations. It doesn't just uh, contain itself to the pistol strong. In my opinion, it's probably the best from the pistol strong. But it's also in the pistol strong slot. So if you're a three wide receiver team, you still have access to the same running play, and it's still just as good. You see, you still get that seal on the edge and can get to the outside. Or if they're, you know, maybe pinching or, or excuse me, spreading their line and spreading the linebackers trying to keep you from breaking the big run, then you could just take what the defense gives you right up the middle for, you know, 20, 30 yards up the middle. So uh, they, they, they are maybe negating the home run, but you're still hitting big gashes up the middle. And this is just a phenomenal run, guys. This is a really good run. It takes advantage of the run-free system. It is Madden 25. Um, and I'm telling you guys right now, this is arguably the hardest run to stop in the game. And especially down in the red zone um, with a combination of a couple other plays we can add to our playbook out of this pistol formation. It's going to make this pistol slot very difficult to stop. So, guys, be sure to find a playbook with a... Um, with an inside zone split run out of either a pistol or a gun. You see that was the first time they blew it up and it was because I went up the middle when I had the edge seal. You see here I get the fullback around on the seal and I can just bounce it to the outside and it's almost an automatic quick four or five yards. Uh, the overplus probably does the best job uh, containing it because it's such a wide and out formation whereas formations like uh, 46 normal or stuff like that they're all grouped inside, so they're going to get hung up inside on this run. It's just a really good uh, look here. We'll show you. We'll just show you out of a show blitz look. 46 bear here, and you see just you get the seal, and it's just like make your cuts and, and, and take your easy easy yardage there. So, But make sure you guys find uh, a playbook in Madden 25 that has this play. Uh, I'm going to recommend the... Pistol playbook um, because it has the pistol pistol one, uh, but also I think the Redskins have this run in their playbook, and I know that the Buccaneers and the Buffalo Bills have this run. So, guys, this is just a, a great play that you need to add to your playbook this week. So thanks for checking out this week's tip of the week. Be sure to stay tuned next week where we're going to talk about the best passing play in Man 25. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.